noticing in my videos that I come across like a Russian instead of Portuguese speaking English person, I come across like a Russian speaking English. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm Russian. No <laughs> Russian. Uh, and I'm from the mafia. So watch out. <laughs> watch out. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special video. This is like my first impressions video, like a full face of makeup that I've never tried before. Uh, and I'm gonna try it today. In my last video, I ordered some things over in collection from Kiko that I said that I wanted to try and I was gonna try them on video. So, where are they? Kiko blush. I am so excited to use this, guys. Oh my god, because it's such a great color. And a brow pencil a full face of makeup to test except for except for fixing spray that I'm gonna use this one I bought like three or four in the last few few weeks so I was like okay I'm not gonna buy anymore although um, I want my makeup to be really glowy today so I really want to use this okay so except for fixing spray the rest everything is new uh, so this is my first, first impression, my first, first impressions. Wow, that is a blah, 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 of words. So there are products here that I really wanted to try for a very long time. And then there are products here that I just discovered. I discovered this new brand called, what's it called? Love. Love. Is this brand right there I bought uh, the primer and the concealer from them and a palette with highlighter and bronzer so I am so excited because they they seem really good they seem really really good. first thing that we're gonna use is primer and it's this primer and I'm so excited about this because listen to this it's three in one Prime and fixing spray, so it can be used uh, at the beginning of the makeup and at the end. But I really want to to use this because I want to glow. I want to glow. Uh, but it says here that it's beauty perfector infused with coconut water, more plus moisturizing effect. So. This is coconut water and I'm excited, so I'm opening it. I'm so excited to use this. Okay. Okay. It looks like this. I'm gonna see how it smells. Oh, okay. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, guys, it smells. It smells like moisturizer, like cream, like really moisturizer that you put on your skin, uh, on your face, on your skin, whatever. And then it smells like coconut. Oh my God, this sounds perfect for my skin. Let's give it a go and do this. anymore in my head. I look ridiculous. So I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Hmm. 
it's it, it has some tackiness to it which is good so the makeup will hold on to it and it's how it looks it feels it feels like really moisturizing so I think I'm gonna love this I think I'm gonna love this very mush very mush does that, does that sound less Russian very mush I don't know if you can see it on camera but I have a glow next step is a product that I wanted to try for a very long time but I just haven't had the chance is the Sense Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Healthy Glow with Vitamin Complex and Cranberry Water and my shade is Fresh Nude not sure if this is the right shade it says that it, it's supposed to last for 12 hours I don't need to last 12 hours I don't so let's try this with one pump like and oh my god this is gonna happen through all the video right because everything is new so it's gonna take a little bit to come off okay oh that was fast okay so this is the consistency maybe it's a little bit light for me right now i'm gonna i did this let's grab a beauty blender and see how this applies to my skin it's definitely a little bit light for me it's definitely um light coverage which i like i don't i don't mind light coverage um but let's see because it, it has really light coverage let me see what it says in here it says medium to high coverage and it lasts 12 hours supposedly this is not medium to high coverage this is light to high coverage this is high to medium coverage i'm gonna have to use one pump more and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to use like three or four of these because the coverage is really light but a little bit how my skin is looking and it's light coverage definitely but i think i like it because um it's not leaving it's not clinging to my dry patches at all it's leaving me with a glow so that's good um and if you want to build it up you can so this is how my skin is looking i think it looks good everything's is tasting so good am i gonna eat my makeup Am I gonna eat my makeup? <laughs> Damn! Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna use the new brand that I did just discovered is the Love Effect Full Concealer Pen Radiance Booster. In a shade Bright Rose. 020 Bright Rose. Let's open this up. It's a cushion. It's with a cushion. This is my first ever trying a cushion concealer. Not sure exactly how this works. I think it's like that. I'm gonna spend here the whole afternoon waiting for this to show up. Oh, it's already showing up. Okay, 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 okay. 
let's be calm with this. So let's, whoa. It seems like it had really little, but it had a lot. Okay. Not sure how fast I have to work with this. So let's put the eyes first and then we move on. Just pop conceal. Anyway. So it's very sheer. I can tell you that just by the first touch with the sponge, it's very sheer, as you can see. Not definitely, definitely, definitely not full coverage. I can tell you that. But it blends really easily. It blends really, really easily. I'm liking it, guys. I really am. Let's use a little bit more here, here, let's use here, and let's use a little bit more here, here, and here, and here. So guys, this is how everything's looking until now, so I I'm so excited to try this because I wanted to try this powder for such a long time. Lace Luxury Baking Powder. This has been around for a very long time, but I haven't. But until now, I haven't got my hands on it. I think I'm gonna make a mess. But. How does this thing op open? How do you open this? Okay. Yay. This is messy. This is really messy. So you take the, the lid and I'm supposed to. You, oh. This is way too much. This bit. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm gonna do this do you see how much powder is going off and then this oh my god this is this has concealed my eyes pretty damn nice yeah so let's conceal our face really small for a brush like but oh my god, I really oh, I don't know how to do this. So, like this, oh, this is so fine. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so we got there, we got there. We conceal our face. I'm not sure if I like this powder. Oh. So this is how my base is looking. I like it. I like the powder. I like the powder. It's just, it's really fine. So it will, it will go everywhere, but it sets really nicely my face and it doesn't cling to my dry patches or leave my face really dry. So I think the problem with this is that it's not practical. So I have to find something where I can put the powder and swirl the brush in it. We'll find a way because I actually like it. To this palette. I am so excited for this. Let's open the palette. It's magnetic, it's magnetic, and this is how it looks. Ooh, it looks really good. Let's do some swatches. This is the bronzer. It's 
Sounds good. Let's see the highlighter. And this is soft highlighter. Maybe, wow, this is, ah, but it looks good. It's not as strong as this one. Maybe for an everyday kind of basis. This is good. Hmm, I like it. I like it. So, let's start with bronzer. I am, and I am scared this is going to be too strong. So, I'm just going to do this. Tap the axis off. And let's see. Ooh, it's very pretty. Like this is just with one swipe. So it's very satin, very easy to blend. And it really, it's like a bronze, a bronze color with caramel, with caramel in it. Like it's really pretty. Wow. Let's do this a little bit. Look at my hair. Uh, okay. It's very easy to build if you want to. If you want to build it, it's very easy. If you don't, if you want a soft bronze, you can do that too. I like it. I like it very much. It doesn't look strong on the camera. It's really, this is a really good bronzer. This is, it reminds me of the bottom bronzer from Physicians Formula. Only it's a more darker color. And like I said, it's like a brown caramel. So I think this is really good for summer. Yeah, when you're tan and you want to glow because this, this, give you this is gonna give you glow <laughs> i like it very very much very very much excited to to use the highlighter in a bit because now i'm gonna use the kiko's milano wouldn't me blush soft moth and i'm so excited so 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 excited please i love this color in a pan have no idea how it's gonna look on the face so it's i like it it's really soft just like i want it Wow, that came really strong on camera, but it's not on real life, really, but I'll buff it out. So let's move on to the highlighter. Oh, yeah. Yes, baby. Come to mama. <laughs> this is oh it's good but they're really good really really good so on the tip of my nose let's put a little bit more if you have been watching my videos i didn't used to have anything for brows uh because they're not like that bad but they can be better so i bought this green mickey comilano brow pencil in 104 this is it's black let's give this a go but first let's 
give this a try although this is an incense lash and brow gel mascara in trans transparent so i can have a sense of what i'm doing because i'm not used to so i'm gonna brush it this is my first time using this also and let's use the brow so i think i'm gonna start here like very softly just working my way through the spaces that i think need to be fuller okay so this is how they are looking i think they look good for my first time <laughs> i think they look good i'm gonna go in again with decent lash and brow in transparent just to set this pencil about this this was my first time using a brow product and i have to get the hang of it a little bit more a little bit better but i think i think it's good it wasn't hard to use the pencil i'm sorry this is spooky. the pencil it slides like it's really easy to use like you do let's see if i can use like do you see i think it's very easy to use for a beginner because i am the beginner in my brows i never used to use anything on my brows so i think for the first time we're looking good we're looking good i like this i really like this okay Everything is going really good so far. I'm, I'm surprised that everything is going really good so far. What's next? On to the eyes. And for the eyes, this is my first time using a, an eyeshadow from Essence. In this case, not just an eyeshadow, a whole palette. And I picked this one. It's the Essence Good Day Sydney. I've never been to Sydney, so. And it looks like this. And has a mirror, as you can see, because you just saw my camera. And let's pull out this. And so it has one, two, two mattes and the rest are shimmer no three mattes and the rest are shimmer. let's do some swatches this is like a setting one yeah normal this is a transition one maybe they're very similar and this is like a gold they are very sheer do you see that let me focus please they look good but they look a little bit sheer so and they have a little bit of fallout okay this is like warm brown it's very sheer. Do you see that? Do you see that? It's very sheer. Let's continue. This is a really dark brown. Wow. That's what's really good. It's not matte, completely fully matte. It's like a satin. Really, really good. So, this was 
the satin ones and the matte ones. Let's move on to the shimmers. It has this really light blue. Let's see how. Oh, that's buttery. Wow. And a copper one. Wow, dude. They are buttery as hell. Really, really. This one really reminds me that I have on my Urban Decay Naked Palette. I have I have to compare those two, but I don't have my palette here. I'll compare it later. Oh, what an amazing green! Yes! I wanted this green for so long! It's like, it's like, let me show you close. It's like, do you see that? Let me just block the light a little bit. Uh, it's like a green with reflections of gold, which is amazing. I wanted a color. I wanted a color like that for a very long time. So yay! And last, this really dark blue that also seems very good. Wow. I'm very impressed, guys. Very, very impressed. So they don't have shade names. No, they don't. But let's start. Let me see. Let's start with this. Oh my god, they have really big fallouts. Shit. So let's start with this one. Right in the crease, and let's see how this blends. I'm not sure what I wanted to do, what I want to do in my eyes, but I'm going out after this, so it has to be something wearable they actually are blending very easily yeah they are blending very easily look at this this shade is working perfectly as a transition shade so let's pick up this oh my god they have so much fallout and let's put this in the out of corner just to see just to darken it a little bit i've darkened it i've darkened it in a corner and it worked it worked really fine let me blend a little bit more but they are working the shadows really good let's put the copper one let's put the copper one on the center of the lid because i'm very curious to see oh my god look at that this highlighter and put here in to highlight the inner corner and here and the brow bone It has a lot of fallout. It has really a lot of fallout. But I don't mind. I'm going to do the I'm going to do the under eyes with that brown. So 
So I guess I'm gonna have to go and pick up my nude and says eyeliner because I didn't bought anything. This is amazing. It has a lot of fallout, really, but the shades work really good. Uh, they have really amazing shades here, uh, mattes, satins, and really bright colors. A lot of fallout, again, but I think for the price, it's really good. And this copper one, I'm gonna swatch it right next to my Urban Decay Naked Heat because I'm pretty sure it, they are very, very, very identical. I'm gonna grab my eyeliner, my Sense Nude Eyeliner, you're, you already know what that looks like because I forgot about one. So let's move on to lips. So I do have two lip liners. I have one from Kiko that was a gift from them when I ordered the Green Me collection. And I have this one from Love, Lip Affair, Color and Care Lip Pencil, long lasting, in the shade 503 Miriam. And I think I'm going to use this one. This is the color. Ooh. It's really pretty. Let's see. Very, 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 very smoothie. Where is this brand has been all of my life? It's so good. So this is, this is the lip liner. I could just wear this with the lip gloss on it and I will be done. This is how pretty this color is. It's amazing. It's really, really pretty. Let me just... But I do, I do have another thing to test is D, Essence Color Boost Matte About Matte Liquid Lipstick. Is this one? And I'm scared because the last time I tried a supposedly matte lipstick from Essence, it wasn't matte. It was going everywhere. I put it and it was smudging all over the place. So. I hated it, really hated it. So let's see if this one is good. So it opens like this. Why oh, it smells so good. Wow. It smells really good. And the color, ooh. Color is really pretty. Look at that. I think it matches really good with this lip liner. But let's see. Mm. A mess. I'm making a big mess. The color is really pretty but I do not like the wand. It has this shape. Uh, focus, please. I'm gonna focus. Okay. It has this wand that, I don't know. It's not very precise. It goes everywhere. It's really hard to go on, on a straight line. I've been trying to fix it with the lip liner. It's not that easy. This is the best that I get. Um, the color is pretty good, but I don't like this. It dries matte, but not a comfortable matte. I definitely can feel it in my lips. like doing this to my lips and uh, I don't like it. I don't think I like liquid lipsticks from Essence. I don't think I like their formula. The other one I didn't like it either so... Mm. I'm gonna go again with the Love Perfect 
perfect attitude prime and fixing spray because I love really like this and then I'm gonna go in with this one and then we're gonna finish finish the lashes oh my god maybe that was a little bit too much oh it's going in my mouth again mm. oh my god this is so good and go with this Okay, look at the mess that I just made. Let's fix this. Let's blend this like quick before I cannot blend all this glow out. But look at this. Ah, uh, okay. My lashes and try this mascara. This is the Wet n Wild XXL lash. So this is supposed to go put my lashes right in Mars. Let's see if it works. So guys, that is it. This is the finish. Look, I'm gonna take my and give you a little bit of a mess here. This is the finish look. Mm. About every single product that I use. Uh, I've been talking throughout the video, so you already know how I feel about them. But I'm gonna talk again. Starting with this. Amazing. It smells amazing. It's moisturizing. Uh, moisturizing. Uh, it leaves a tackiness. The foundation will grab on pretty good. And it's also a fixing spray. So at the end, you can sp uh, spray it all over your face. So I am in love with this. Plus one for this one, yes. Next one, the Incense Foundation, uh, Fresh and Fit. I, I like this, to be honest. It wasn't like, wow, this is really good. Uh, this is not full coverage, but I did use a sponge. Maybe with a brush, it gives you more coverage than with a sponge. I'm gonna have to try this with a brush because it took me like four things of this for my whole face and I don't usually use that much but it's good it looked good the color was good um so yeah it's good next the revolution lace powder uh I like this very much the powder is very good but it's very thin and the lid, it's not practical at all. So it's gonna go everywhere. So be careful with this. I have to find something to put the powder in, a big thing to put the powder in because in this lid, uh, it's really messy. It's really, really messy. So, but the powder itself, it's really good. And I'm like, I'm I'm glad I, I bought this and in, in um, tried it on because I'm gonna use this a lot more, a lot more. I'm... This, I use this. Amazing, amazing. Love, love everything about it. Love the bronzer, love the highlight, loved everything. Uh, and I think it's a good palette for traveling. Don't you guys think? Yeah. I, I have to buy more things from this brand. They seem to be, the brand seems to be really, really good. So, yay! 
the brow pencil for my brows. Yes, yes, very good. I don't know exactly how to talk about this because this was my first product, but it worked and I, I could use it easily and I have no experience in, in brows, so that's a good thing. Also, this. I have the Incense Make Me Brow and I love that, but for this, I wanted to, to, to use a clear gel. I prefer the <laughs> Make Me Brow, but we're gonna play with this a little bit more and see how it goes. Okay, but love this and this, it's like a eh, but love this. <laughs> okay. Another thing that I used, lips, so amazing, really smooth, the color really pigmented, really pretty, a plus, I have to buy more lip liners from them, actually, I'm really impressed with this brand, I'm gonna have to buy like the whole range of stuff, because I can, my wallet let be. But whatever love it the lipstick that went with this this one the color is amazing but i didn't like it it's really hard to work with the wand is really hard hard to work with uh it dries up really fast and it's really hard to go in with a sharper line with a sharp line yeah with a sharp line it's really hard to go in with a sharp line um love the color but i don't love this i'm sorry that we used was the wet and wild xxl lash and um, this is how it turned out i didn't like it guys i'm sorry my mascaras had Put my lashes to the moon and normally these bristles they do the job but not this one I don't know why I don't know why but it doesn't it doesn't get much more than this and this is very little for me this is a big no I'm sorry but it, it is a big no so that is it. This is the final look. This is all of the products. Uh, some of them I love. Oh! <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to talk about this. But I already think I, I said enough. I loved it. I'm so excited to use this green shade on a look. Wait for it because it's gonna come. That's it guys the final look i hope you enjoyed this is this was my first video of first impressions not sure if i'm doing this right but i am just having fun loosening up playing around so if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel go and check my instagram out uh comment if you want uh and i will see you in my next one Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.